In a move that has sparked international outrage and bewilderment, Colombia's President Gustavo Francisco Petro has publicly lambasted Prince Harry and Meghan Markle for their bizarre offer to donate Meghan's homemade dog biscuits to the South American nation. The president's scathing remarks have sent shockwaves through the global media, leaving many questioning the true intentions behind the royal couple's seemingly well-intentioned but utterly perplexing gesture. But before we continue, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates. It all started earlier this month when Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, in a display of what they claimed was humanitarian concern, announced that they wished to send a shipment of Meghan's personalized dog biscuits to Colombia. The biscuits, which Meghan had reportedly been baking and selling as part of her newfound passion for canine culinary creations, were to be distributed to impoverished families and their beloved four-legged companions. The news of this peculiar proposition quickly spread like wildfire eliciting a range of reactions from the international community. While some applauded the couple's apparent desire to help those in need, many were left scratching their heads, wondering if this was yet another example of the royals' disconnect from the realities faced by the less fortunate. It was President Gustavo Francisco Petro's reaction, however, that truly captured global attention. In a fiery statement delivered during a televised address, the Colombian leader lambasted the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, accusing them of patronizing the country and its people. This is not the kind of assistance that Colombia needs, Petro declared, his voice dripping with disdain. We are not a nation of stray dogs in need of handouts from the British monarchy. This is an insult to our national dignity, and we will not stand for it. The president went on to argue that the royal couple's gesture was a thinly veiled attempt to divert attention from their own personal scandals and controversies, stating that the people of Colombia deserve genuine support, not the scraps of the privileged elite. President Petro's scathing rebuke has sent shockwaves through the international community, with many hailing his bold stance and others questioning the appropriateness of his response. The British royal family has remained uncharacteristically silent on the matter with neither Prince Harry nor Meghan Markle issuing a public statement in the aftermath of the controversy. This has only served to fuel speculation that the couple's initial offer was indeed a misguided attempt to garner positive publicity, rather than a genuine act of philanthropy. Meanwhile, Colombian citizens have taken to social media to voice their support for their president's stance, with many praising his unwillingness to accept what they perceive as a patronizing and tone-deaf gesture from the British royals. President Petro is absolutely right to reject this insulting offer, wrote one Colombian user on Twitter. We are a proud and resilient nation, not a charity case for the British monarchy to exploit. Hashtag, hashtag the broader implications, a clash of cultures and perspectives. The Colombia Royal Biscuit Saga has highlighted the growing divide between the global elite and the realities faced by the world's less fortunate populations. While Prince Harry and Meghan Markle may have genuinely believed that their gesture would be well-received, their failure to understand the complexities and sensitivities of the Colombian context has exposed a glaring disconnect between the privileged and the marginalized. This is not just about dog biscuits, argued political analyst Amelia Rodriguez. It's about the persistent Western paternalism that often accompanies foreign aid and assistance. President Petro's response is a powerful rejection of that mindset and a call for genuine partnership and respect between nations. The incident has also sparked a broader conversation about the role of the British monarchy in a rapidly changing world. As the institution grapples with its colonial past and attempts to redefine its place in the 21st century, episodes like this serve as a stark reminder of the challenges it faces in maintaining relevance and goodwill among diverse global communities. The Columbia Royal Biscuit Saga has undoubtedly left a lasting impression on the international stage. President Petro's bold rebuke has not only garnered widespread support from his constituents, but has also resonated with many around the world who are weary of the perceived arrogance and disconnect of the global elite. 